hey guys welcome back so in this video we are going to see how to edit and update the data and the image in Django so we are going to update the image and remove the old image what was there in the database okay so this is our index page and here is the output Let's refresh and you can see we have three data now we are going to work on this edit part okay so we'll open this and in this edit button we need to give a URL so before giving the URL let us create that in the urls.py so here urls.py file copy and paste so edit product and the function name we are going to edit so edit product and the name also I don't see edit prod copy this function name and create a function with this name in the views.py file okay and that's the request and which product we are going to edit we have to specify that also right so in this URL we are going to say int of primary key so we can send the ID or any unique key so I'll keep it a string what we have sent here primary key right pk whatever you have given here the same thing you have to mention it in this okay so pk return render the template name so i haven't created a template yet i'll just do it products slash edit dot html let's create a template with that name Over here i will say new file edit.html and the design will be same as the add.html but here we'll have the prefilled data and we are going to just, just edit that okay so instead of add data it's edit data okay and here we are going to first send the data right so I'll create the variable prod equals to the model name item dot objects dot all not all I mean the ID which is the primary key so ID equal to PK so we are going to pass the ID through the edit button to the URL and the you from the URL we are going to take it and filter from the data from here and pass it in the edit dot HTML page so create a context equals say prod prod okay and just pass that here first the request I just missed that request comma context go to the edit.html and here in this name give value equals and within this we need to print that okay so p dot name so just copy and paste this for all the fields copy this is the description so p dot description this is the price okay p dot price and this is the image okay so if you need you can display the image so I just do that mg src equals p dot image dot url okay so if there is an image it will display the image alt equals to image here so if there is no image for any product which we have while inserting this will throw an error so you need to add a if condition here also so p dot image if p dot image then it will show else it's going to say just this Im uh, input will be there so this image will show as big right so i will add a class over here it's there in the index prod size this is a custom class which I have created and just add over here okay and yes 
so instead of save let's say update and btn warning will give or let's say btn yeah warning will be better so we'll go to the index page now where we had the edit button so here in this href we have to give the thing okay so url oops i'll just remove this url okay and edit prod so this is my name of the url here you can see name edit prod and along with that i'm just going to pass the id of that product which i want to edit p dot id so this will take to the url and from the url we are going to filter the data and send to the next page refresh and you can see the url so when i click on this we are going to get here edit product of one two and three so i'll click two you can see edit product two the data is not here let us check why is that so edit here i have given p okay so we'll go to the views file here you can see it's prod not p okay so we had used the p in the index page so i just got confused so wherever we have p i'll just change it to prod okay now you can reload the page and check so you've got the data okay so now when we change and update this data so i'll update the price to 599 it has to update so let us write that code now so we'll go to the views file and here we are going to check if the request method is post so if request dot method is equal to post then first we will check the image if there is image okay so if length of request dot files is not equal to zero then first we are going to remove the previous files whatever is there in the database for this product we are going to delete that previous image so this condition satisfied that there is a file in the form which we have submitted so now let us check if there is a existing image or not so for that we have to give another if condition here if length of the prod dot image so this is just clear guys so whatever we have fetched the product of that product image column we are checking if there is any data so if this is greater than zero then we have to delete that right so we'll say os dot remove the prod dot image image dot path okay so this will do and os is showing error let us import that at the top import os okay this should fix it yes it's fixed and now we are going to set this file so this was for checking if there is a file in the form so if there is a already existing file we are deleting it else it will be in this line okay so here we are going to say prod dot image is equal to request dot files dot oops not dot and here the image i mean the name of that image input tag so here it is image copy and paste the same thing and prod dot name is equal to you can just copy that from this thing the had product thing it will be almost the same paste it over here and this will be the outer indent okay so if it is a post method so this is for the image processing if there is an image or not this will check and the name description and the price we have to update anyways okay and here what we are going to say is prod there is no update method here so we are just going to save it again but due to this it will not create a new id and it will save in the previous one itself okay so now it's done let us set the message okay, messages 
dot success request and here we are going to say product updated success fully so after setting the message we are going to redirect return redirect to the home page and remove this empty space okay save and now let us test the code we'll open the browser and reload the page okay so this i'm going to make 599 and update so this shows imp required right so i'm not going to update it every time so we can remove this required from the edit file save and refresh change the price to 599 and click update you can see product updated successfully and here it is changed so now let us test with the image thing okay so first we'll check the image here in static uploads and this is the sports shoes okay so the file name ends with 1533 sports shoes right so we are going to update it with another thing this should remove from here so we'll click edit and choose file i'm going to upload this footwear update okay so you can see the new one has come so let us check if the old one old image has been deleted or it's still there so here in your uploads folder the casual shirt is there mobile and the footwear okay the sport shoes uh, image has been deleted so in this video we have seen how to edit and update the image in django so thank you for watching this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you once again